And that's why therapy and drugs are fucking stupid. May I make an observation? What? For years, you've been expressing yourself through these little rants, using them to both hide from reality, yet at the same time constantly confronting it. So? So, don't you see the progress you have made? What do you mean? Well, when you first came to me, your mind and self-image were warped by the pressures society had placed upon you. You, you felt objectified, alone. And thus lashed out at anyone who looked at you in a sexual way. After the coffee shop incident, you retreated to a world of make-believe girlfriends and man-hating paranoia. The best kind of paranoia. But oddly enough, through these little squirrel puppets, you slowly overcame your issues. Instead of seeing yourself as a battered and abused outcast scorned by a society you hate, you slowly emerged from your delusions tackled your issues head-on through your creativity. And now, now look at you. I have a YouTube channel. Yes, and a very creative one. Uh, such funny. And and, and how is that going for you, by the way? The money sucks, but I'm having fun. Well, I mean, that's all that matters, right? Shh, not really. You should totally donate and help support my creativity. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha. Well, I, I think you're cured. Seriously? I, I think so. I mean, it, it took longer than I would have liked, and the puppet thing can be a bit weird at times. But but now, now you're a free-spirited art model, a creative puppeteer, and an introspective self-published poet. So, so who can argue with the results? Not I. Seriously, though? Give me money. I work really hard. <laughs> Uh, 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 buddy. <laughs> Confidentially, though, I will say out of all your delusions, my favorite one was how you kept thinking of me as a tech support agent. Th- though I guess, psychologically, I was helping you fix the broken operating system that was your brain. Thank you for calling Smell Tech Support. Haha, <laughs> Smell Tech Support. <laughs> I, I don't really sound like that, do I? Yeah, you kind of do. Oh, well, well, we can't all be perfect, right? Apparently not. So, from here on in, I will be thinking we will only have to touch base with each other maybe once a month. Seriously? No more daily monitoring or monthly sanity hearings? No, no. A- a- as far as I'm concerned, you're a perfectly normal and productive member of society. W- well, so- somewhat normal. What about the whole neck-snapping incident? Clearly you were mentally unstable at the time. So I'll file the necessary paperwork with the courts and everything should be resolved in about a week. Really? Yes. Now, now if you don't mind, I have a nutcase coming in that seems to be obsessed with some girl he saw online. He's very terrible. (laughs) Very, very terrible. Terrible! You thought you were crazy. This man is just... Screw that guy! Take the rest of the day off and get some candy. (laughs) Ha ha! Such funny. (laughs) Finally. That only took like 15 years. Yeah, well, if your voice wasn't so hard to impersonate, it wouldn't have taken so long. But finally, finally, this farce is over and I'm free. I'm finally free! Yeah, yeah. By the way, the next time you feel the need to snap someone's neck in a coffee shop just because they're hitting on you, try to resist that urge, okay? I'm not going through another 15 years of made-up scenarios, twisted perspectives, alternate realities, delusional self-images, the squirrels told me to do it, insanity, plea bargaining bullshit, just to keep your psycho ass out of jail! It worked, didn't it? Fair enough. And good on you for sticking with the story for so long. Yeah, well, in order to get away with murder, one must be committed. Ha! That's funny! Because you got away with murder! And you were committed! To lying! About being crazy! And crazy people are usually committed! Yeah, I, I got that. Question. Out of all the things you made up, the magical boobs, the tech support stuff, the rants, and so on, where the hell did you come up with that psychotic rubber duck thing? Oh, that was Pilsy's idea. Rubber duck, you have evil! Don't explode in my face with rage! <laughs> Figures. I swear, he gets weirder every day. That's because he's been eating all of my court-ordered meds. Fantastic. Can we get 
some bagels now. I, I think we've earned them. Yeah, we totally earned some bagels. On the way, you should probably apologize to the pizza dude for using him as a delusional hallucination of sexual abuse in your mad game of murder. Nah, just 101. Always sacrifice the pawn to save the queen. Besides, I know he's been stealing my underwear while I'm modeling for art classes. And you're gonna let him get away with that? Let's just say it may be used as planted evidence for a possible, purely hypothetical murder plot in the future. Allegedly. Damn, you really do think far ahead. Yep. Now let's put all this behind us and enjoy our celebratory bagels. About time! It's been like a decade since I had a bagel. It's been like an hour. Th that's like a decade in squirrel time, all right? And I want some extra creamy, 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 cheesy, cheesy, cream, cream cheese on it. All the cream cheese. Every single last bit. <sighs> of course you do. All the cream cheese! All the cream cheese! Everything left in the store. I don't want to smear going to waste. So, what do you think? Dude, the book is like 1,500 pages. And it's all about you. I like to write about what I know. Yeah, but it's so weird. You start off murdering someone, then try to kill yourself while I'm apparently doing a song and dance about it. Then, the pizza guy becomes obsessed with you, we get a haunted toaster, you develop some body image issues, which just get even weirder with the whole magical boob thing, you go through several different hairstyles, make fun of tech support, which has always been extremely helpful, by the way. You're constantly ranting, you insert random childhood flashbacks, and then everything devolves into a series of extremely graphic sexual objectification sequences riddled with neo-feminist undertones until finally you have a psychotic breakdown, get put on a plethora of prescription drugs, go through therapy, which then turns out to be a complete farce, revealing the whole time you were in fact making up a series of mentally debilitating scenarios in order to convince the courts and your psychiatrist that you are unfit to stand trial for murder. Just so you can get away with murder. Yep, it's a total mind fuck. But some of the stuff in here actually happened. Yep. So how's the reader supposed to know what's real and what's not? Mind fuck. This isn't a mind fuck. This is like a violent brain raping. I'm fine with that. Besides, I wrote this for me, you know? I wanted to write something that depicts a woman as a calculating mastermind rather than some cliched victim of society. So... You portray yourself as a woman who fakes a mental breakdown in order to get away with murder? It makes sense to me, so shove it, okay? I'm done trying to explain myself. Done. Done. Fair enough. I, I, did, I did like how we got bagels at the end, though. That, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, I figured you would. The pizza dude is going to flip out if he ever reads this, you know. He's so infatuated with me, I don't think he's going to care. Besides, I know he's been stealing my underwear while I'm modeling for art classes. And you're going to let him get away with that? Let's just say it may be used as planted evidence for a possible purely hypothetical murder plot in the future. Allegedly. Wait a second. That was in the last chapter of your book. What the fuck? Mind fuck. Mind fuck me, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you're done writing your, like, erotic fan fiction about yourself. Um, I know you're like quirky and have all sorts of anxiety with dealing with reality, but we gotta get you a job. Like, like seriously, okay? Because there's like a brick of milk in the refrigerator. It's bad. It's disgustingly bad, all right? Okay? I don't like having to slice off a glass of milk from a block of curdled disgust. <laughs> Come on, power through your quirkiness. You can do it. Maybe you can't. I don't know. <laughs> Curdled milk is not a drink. Especially when you gotta chew it. Suck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's disgusting. So gross. <laughs> <laughs>